the next topic is now how do we get, go ahead and create a position okay so creation of position is important why it is important because now my job profile is ready unless i have a position available i will not be able to link it okay so you see the staffing what is the so here it is job management which means i cannot create a position in this let's go into the other supervisory organization let's go the staffing so i have position management which means i can create positions here so i'll click on actions and then i'll go to staffing and then you see this option create position so this is also very important interesting why it is interesting because it will go through a business process guys it will go through a business process now what is that business process i will show it to you in some time so it will ask you why you want to create the position so you have to specify you see is it a, is it the staffing that you have to do in a new project or is it something that you want to do it in your you know existing project where you need people you are under staff i will say i am under under staff job position title i'll say account executive that's fine i can put that account executive so and it says number of position so if i have to put 1 2 3 whatever i want to put i can and then i'll scroll it down then you see it says availability date so when is this job sorry when is this position going to be available i'll say 21st and it says earliest hire date which means when do you want to start the hiring you want to start it from today you can if you want to do it in a future date you can put the future date also there is no problem but i'll show you that if i have it in today's date where it will go and then now you see it's asking you to link the job family so this is what i wanted to specify here so what was the job family we created that was my oh. family group account executive was my job oh. family oh. so always remember these are yes. very loosely bounded both will come together and it will confuse you so i'm going to use my job family here so when i use my job family it will give me the job profile so if there was more if there were more than one job profile it will be listed here all the job profiles will be listed and out of that whatever i want to select i can right now i have only created one but let's say if i have created account executive mid market right then that will also be coming here so let's search for the job profile so i have my job profile now and now you see i have the job details all the information that i put yesterday it is available there so in in a lot of scenarios what would happen is you may not see this description coming on this screen so don't worry about it okay this is just optional it is not mandatory that it should come okay then you see it is asking you for the location where you want to go ahead and hire. let's see what was the location that we have put mumbai okay we'll use mumbai then we have time type whether it is a full time okay or is it a contractor or is it a full time employee see full time or part time now whether it is a contractor or a permanent employee so that you have to specify then you see when you put employee what is the sub type so is it a regular employee or a, just like intern or somebody no i need somebody as a regular employee and then you see difficulty to fill it has come from your job profile okay so we'll scroll it down and then you see what is going to happen it is once i submit it it will take me to a business process see what does it say you have submitted and it says up next hr administrator review position request due date so this has gone for due date approval 
so by 28th of july the hr administrator has got time to approve okay mm -hmm. now this is a process which has been set up in this tenant if there was no such process then the pro you know the position would be would be created right away but i want this position to be created right now what will i do you see this business process it says in process position actions now i have create position account executive and it is awaiting actions by these three people adam clark ben adams and logan mcneil now who are these they are basically given the role of hr administrator any one of them can approve it it is not necessary that all three have to do it it could be only one person who will approve then my position will be available to be hired so let's assume that in a real time system i am adam clark okay so if i am adam clark i'll get a notification so let's try to log in as adam clark start proxy because then only i'll be able to get into their system loading adam clark okay and i'll go ahead and click on okay now i will log in as adam clark and i will see i have a notification now where i will see that notification in my yeah bell icon is your notification where you don't have to take any actions but here i have to take an action right yeah. i have to approve so okay. i will have to look into the inbox because it says it is awaiting your action <clears throat> now you see create position account executive okay now it says you have the time till 28th of july there is no problem you can do that supervisory organization this is the place where this position is created then i will see okay what what is the request why why reason what is the reason for that okay they are understaffed okay they are, they want only one person okay i'll scroll it down then it says job family is this job profile is this okay job profile is also done very nice location time type worker whatever it is and then you have a comment see if you want to say that no i don't want to allow you to do that i can go ahead and send it back or you see this i can add approvers deny or i can save it for later also but i'll say approve now what will happen it will take me to the screen where it says success so i have approved it right now once i have approved it you can look into this view details so this business process was creating of position this was the position and this was for this particular supervisory organization and it tells me that it is successfully completed right now again i can go back to this organization and now under staffing i will see that there is a position which has been created right now my account executive is ready it says position and this is the id this is the position name account executive and then it says unfilled which means it is empty okay now this is my job family job profile so whatever job profiles would be there it would be listed but i am using a specific job profile my location is there availability date is there hire date and time type so if i scroll it right i'll get the details like whether my worker type is a employee or a contractual employee and then how the sub type it is regular or what so this is the way how you actually go ahead and create a position okay if you want okay. to see how many open positions are there you will have to either create a report or there is an option which says view open let me see if that permission is you see this option view open positions this is a report which is already inbuilt and it will okay. ask you for which organization are you looking for right so okay. you have to specify
Oh, I'm sorry. Stop proxy. I'll go back as Steve. How will we know how many uh, open positions are there? I showed you that there is a report and you can put the organization name for whom you are looking at, right? You can put the department name. So if okay. you put the department name, you will get the number of open positions. Every organization actually has a different method. Some okay. company prefers that they will raise a ticket. They will okay. raise a ticket and then it will go to the HR team. And from HR team, somewhere, okay. you know, somebody will uh, actually go ahead and assign it to the appropriate recruiter. In case I have excess, I'll, uh, so let me see. Mm, now this is for open enrollment. Okay. Uh, let me see what we have for positions. No, I don't think it is there. I mean, I, I don't have access to that. So probably uh, these things can be set up here. But again, I'm saying, how do we know what are the yeah. approved open positions? So approved open positions, you will only be able to find it through a report. That is where you have to build that report or okay. you can generate that through the report, which I have shown it to you. Okay. Now the next okay. part is how will you get the notification that you have to start working on it? What will happen? This the, the request will come through a ticket or through an email, right? Okay. And in, okay. in okay, and in the workday system, whoever is your HR manager or your you know uh, uh, basically a team lead or somebody, you know, if you're working as a recruiter, they will mark you as a recruiter on that particular job requisition. So there yeah. is a task for job requisition. So there is a you know, create job requisition. This is the task. So when okay. you put this, when you create this job requisition, again, it will ask you for the position. You see, if you have it, which is that supervisory organization, which is that uh, position, because position also we have created. And then what is the type of employee you are looking for? So once you click on that, with that requisition ID, they will ask you, whom do you want to assign this? This notification will go to the HR manager. And then okay. that requisition will be added to the recruiter, whoever the recruiter is, because they will be access, uh, they will be having the access of the workday system. And once it is assigned, the recruiter will get a notification that, okay, a new uh, open requisition has been assigned to me. The job profiles don't get assigned. What gets assigned yeah. is your job requisitions. And all these things you will actually study when you go into the recruitment module. This is a part of recruitment module. So as I stated, that core HCM is the base. From okay. there, the data moves to different, different modules. So we create the job profile, positions, everything in core HCM. However, okay. when we go into the recruitment, there okay. we will use these data to you know, create all these things. So there is a task called create external site. Okay, you see this, create external career site. So this is just like a portal. I've shown you a career site uh, today, right? Yes, yes. Yesterday, in fact, that was from, from a different company. So I can actually edit also, if I go back, there must be a career site in this tenant for sure. Let me show it to you. So here you have edit career. See this edit edit external career site. So you have internal career site and external career site both, right? So let's see. There must be for global career. Yeah, I think I have only created it maybe long time back. Okay, so I'll just show you the URL. Uh, this is my URL, right? So that's the reason I said workday is 90% configuration. 
Okay. Okay. So you will see that the site gets loaded, and you know, you see how is this site getting loaded, right? It is exactly the same way what you saw yesterday. Yes, there is some changes in the appearance and all these things, right? But almost it is exactly the same what I've shown you yesterday. So all these sites are configured inside Workday only. Right? Okay. So from here, you can see the open positions also. But that is for your external people, external candidates. Okay, so you will learn all these things when you go into the recruitment part, because that is where these things are configured. This is not something which is a part of our curriculum. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this chapter is also complete. Let me review if there is any topic which is left. Okay. Just give me a minute. Let me open the curriculum. Oh, okay. Where is it? Okay, it's coming up. Give me just a minute. Yeah, it has loaded. All right, we'll go into, let's see the chapters three, then four, right? So we understood job profile. We understood job profile and localization. Localization is from where you're going to get the location, country location and all those. Then job profiles and compensation grade. Now compensation grade we have not covered. The reason is this is part of your compensation chapter. That is the next chapter, which is coming here. Then we have management level hierarchy. We have understood management level hierarchy and we have also understood the job level hierarchy. Okay. Then how do we differentiate between job profiles, job families and job family group? Then how do you create the job profile, right? Then what is positions? How do we actually create a filled and unfilled? Unfilled, we have not seen. We will see that when we actually go into the seventh chapter, because there I will show you if you make a mistake in giving, you know, putting a date, which is in future, then it will come as unfilled. Okay. And if you're putting the date today, then it will come as a, uh, you know, uh, how you manage it. Then how do we create the positions? We did it. Then we edit the position restrictions and edit position. So this things we have done, but editing, is something we will do when we actually hire somebody. Today we saw how do we create it and editing means once we are ready for hiring. So how will we be ready for hiring when we configure the hire business process and that we are going to see in chapter seven. So this is where we will actually go ahead and configure the hire business process. And then we will use the positions, we will edit it, whatever is required we will do and we will hire somebody. And then we will also see how security is used in there. So the next chapter is basically your compensation guys. And this is little complex in nature. It might, you know, confuse you also. 